Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is going to sound like a cooking lesson, but it is not. This is called Soaring in the Spirit of the Living God Through All the Heat Life Throws at Us. Now, one thing I like to do when I was eating meat my favorite meat way back in the day was corned beef. And you know how you boil corned beef? You boil it for a while and this it starts to you start to get scum, right? Scum starts to form on top of the water. It's really nasty looking. It looks like muddy suds. It's just nasty. And you know a lot of those are the contaminants and the impurities coming out of the meat through the boiling water. So I would let the water boil for about 30 minutes, plus throwing the old water off also helped get rid of some of the excess nitrates, the salt. So I would boil it, and then i boil it a second time for about 30 minutes and throw that off. Now, I'm not trying to get rid of all the flavor. I wouldn't put the seasoning in until the third boiling. But see, this is what happens. Even on the third boiling, there's a little bit of scum. So you skim it and you get rid of it. You skim it, toss it in the sink, wash it down the drain. Now, this is where the scum comes from. It comes from the fat, right? It comes from the impurities in the meat. All the things that you don't want in your body are coming up in that scum. But the only way that scum is going to form is with the excessive heat that makes the water boil. Life can chop our hides. We feel like we're sitting in a pot of boiling water. We feel like it's time to turn the fire out. It's time for the trial to come to a close. It's time. But God, in all his wisdom, knowing what's within, knowing the contaminants we contain within our hearts, minds, emotions, spirits, he said, you let me milk this cow. You, you stay in that pot and I, I'm leaving a fire on as long as I say it stays on. So God allows life to happen to us. And he expects us to trust him enough to stay in the pot. That's the hardest part. Knowing that God is going to allow us to stay in it without coming out burned. So, knowing that you are being purified as gold purified by fire, you feel like you're in the furnace of affliction. And God is steadily reminding us, I got this. I got you. But see, I want to use you in certain ways. I cannot allow for your flesh. I cannot allow you to have it your way. Because if you have it your way, you will derail my purpose in your life. So sit tight. I know it's hurting right now. I know it doesn't feel good. I know you feel confined. You can't get a way out. You're trapped in this pot. But just give it a few more boils because I'm skimming off some stuff here. And I got to keep getting this crap out of you. You can't serve me with all that poison and all those toxins in you. Because you will sabotage my anointing. 
Now, you said you surrendered to me. Do you really surrender to me? Or would you rather me do hands off and let you have your life your way? Either way, life is going to hurt. It's your decision. Now, that's God challenging you. Now, Pat's two cents. What are you going to do now? Trust and stay? Or forget it and run?